everybody. Just wanted to uh, talk to you for a couple seconds here before we start today's video. Uh, this video today is part three, the completion of the bioactive Jackson's Chameleon setup. Um, I, the, the video ended up being over 20 minutes long, so I cut some of it out. So I'm not going to include the footage of putting the springtails and the isopods into the enclosure. It was, uh, seven and a half minutes of opening the cups of the critters that you couldn't see anyway so I'm cutting that out and instead we'll just be at part three the installing the mist system into the enclosure and the enclosure will then be complete so thanks for coming hope you enjoy the video and here we go Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike's Aquatics and Things. Mike here. Today's video is part four of installing the mist system. And the system that I chose is the Mist King. And I just got the starter misting system since I just have one enclosure and I'm just going to use one nozzle. So let's get started on the install. First thing is installing the nozzle. Now the kit does come with a single head misting nozzle, but since this cage is uh, wider, I went ahead and ordered the double head to cover more area and can still use just one nozzle instead of hooking up two. Now two <clears throat> install the nozzle head you just take a pair of scissors and we'll go to about the center of the cage on the top and like I said you want to go right about the center of the cage And just push the scissors through the screen and reeve it out a little bit. Take your bulkhead just push it up through and it has a locking nut. Screw that down tight. All you need to be is hand tight. Your 
There's that. And then you have an elbow for the top. You just push down into it so that you can run your water line to your nozzle. They just snap in. All right. There's that. And, uh, the kit comes <clears throat> with the pump. And uh, you'll notice that the flow direction is clearly marked on there for you. And the pump and everything is all just plug and play. <clears throat> And the system does not come with its reservoir. You have to buy that. Just uh, the reason they do that is because trying to ship a reservoir to increase your costs and your shipping costs. And uh, no one reservoir fits everybody's system. So you get... Uh, yeah, you, know, you can pick up a plastic toad or a painter's five-gallon bucket at a hardware store for a few dollars. Then the kit comes with the bulkhead. I didn't film this far. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you just drill a 9 16 hole about an inch or so from the bottom and just screws together you don't want to over tighten the bulkhead or it will leave you just want it as hand tight as much as you can get and then use a wrench to tighten the nut just a little bit more so that you're squeezing the o-ring next to the container without squishing it out. I already got that done. <clears throat> and the kit comes with your water line. Should be enough to do one nozzle. So uh, I'll come back as soon as I got all of the tubing hooked up. Once again, these have all the fittings have a collet ring. You just push it in as tight as you can in until you hear it click. You never want to cut your tubing with a pair of scissors or anything that will pinch it before it cuts it. You want to use uh, a sharp razor blade so that you can cut it. And I'll be back after I get all the air tubing hooked up. Stay tuned. Okay, everybody. <clears throat> back. Got the... Uh, Miss King system all set up. Got double nozzles up there. Misty nozzles. Got them adjusted for where I want them for the time being. Uh, got the reservoir filled up with water. And you always want to use uh, purified demineralized water 
in the system. You don't want to use tap water because all the minerals over time will clog up your nozzles. I've got all the tubing connected, all checked for leaks. Got the tubing come from the reservoir over to the pump and uh, the tubing up to the misting nozzles here uh, got the pump plugged in and got uh, two plug-ins one to the <coughs> power cord and one going to the misting timer the system does come with the timer showing the correct time now I've seen a lot of reviews that said that the timer is very hard to set up um, the main thing is I have this program right now to come on three times a day uh, automatically every day uh, the first time is at 7 45 a.m. just before the lights come on and I have it uh, for one minute and I have it set for about 12 o'clock noon for two minutes and then I have it set for 8 15 p.m right after the lights go out uh, for one minute and I will adjust those times accordingly to what I need that's where I have it set at real right now and this uh, to check for leaks and stuff you just hit this up arrow key press it for five seconds and it starts and you can see it's a very fine mist it is all hooked up ready to go so we'll see how this works for now as always stay safe like share subscribe comment below and we'll catch you all in the next one peace